Carriage inspection, check. Wheel and axle inspection, check. Power inspection. Good morning, Mr. Wheel. Oh, good morning, heroes of Simulanka. Hey, our old friend Wheel is the driver again. <sighs> that already puts Paimon at ease. Are you certain you don't want us to accompany you, Your Majesty? I am. You can leave the dragon slang to us. My partner's a pro. He does it all the time. What remarkable friends Her Majesty has. With such great heroes by your side, I'm sure you'll best the dragon with ease. We won't keep you any longer. All right, then. Look after the city for me while I'm gone. Yes, Your Majesty. Just leave it to us. I think we're all set. Time to depart. Like to ride a toy train. Ooh, you're really easy to please, Navia. Hmm. Looks like the fog ahead is getting thicker. Attention, passengers! We've arrived at the transfer point. All change, please, all change. So we've got to switch trains, right? Huh? What's that? It looks like... Haley Turtles, they've taken over that platform! Huh? What do we do? Just find somewhere to hide, Mr. Wheel. We'll take care of them. Yeah, yeah. Let me scry. Come a little closer. Yeah. All of them. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Now, let me take a look at the train. Hmm. The carriage is a little scratched up, but there doesn't seem to be any real damage. And the engine's still operating normally, so I think we're good to go. Wonderful. Let's keep going, then.
go forth and witness this world, my... Make sure to be nice to everyone. I leave it to you. Are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine, but I think the Traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. I'll cut him some slack. The Traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a bit. Uh, but my... my leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, Hakai? Ha! <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> ah! He's awake! Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. P Hi, Mon! Oh, no. It's alright. I... I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? Really? What did they say? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. A uh, traveler, Nilu, do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah, he's a student at the Academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. Well then. Hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. Sure. Whatever. Wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here tried to toss it, but no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the hero sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The hero sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Oh, uh, it's just that this entire time, we thought we were the heroes of the prophecy. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. Guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here? That's what happened with Navia and Nilu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take orders from some disembodied voice? Hey, wait, where are you going? 
to find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? Because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! Right? Wow, this scale is amazing! It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block! It doesn't seem to work on us, though. It spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No wonder they call it the Evil Dragon. Your Majesty! Madam Fairy Brave Hero! What are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel! You didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. <sighs> there seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titanium Mines, and some came to fight the dragon, then got stuck here. I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. They think that's the location of its lair. Then we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. out the dragon scale. Wait, wait! No. <laughs> Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um, the dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so... <gasps> Aha! You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paimon can figure things out all on her own.
<sighs> What's wrong, Milu? Oh, nothing. It's just... I sensed a very powerful magical signature just now. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. Huh? When did you put your hat on? Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular outfit. Hat Guy also put away that sword around his waist. Oh, should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do, do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone else serious like this. This space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon sleeps. Watch out in front! It's coming! He's here. Ah, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, 
and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then listen closely, my child. Your name is... How many times am I going to have to save you? Thank you, Hat Guy. Uh, Paimon still feels dizzy. Um, hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Well, we definitely saw a different side to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan, but maybe we should figure out where we ended up first? Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. 